Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is AP Physics Essentials video 56. It's on the electromagnetic force. Remember there are four fundamental forces in the universe. We've got gravity, electromagnetism, and then finally the strong and the weak nuclear force. Now in the last video I showed you how gravity is this attractive force between all matter, operates along all size scales, but it dominates at the very large. Well, electromagnetism is the same way. It operates along all size scales, but it's gonna dominate at our scale, at human scale. And so we really do live in an electromagnetic world. And so to look at electromagnetic forces, we could look at charges. So if I have a positive and a negative electric charge, what we find is that there's going to be an attractive force pulling them together. Now, how is electromagnetism different than gravity? If those charges are the same, let's make them both positive. Now there's going to be a repulsive force between the two. Now another component of electromagnetism is magnetic forces. If we have two magnetic dipoles, there's going to be an attraction between the north and the south. The larger the magnet, the greater that force is going to be. Now magnets, remember, are different than charges in that they don't exist as a discrete north or south. They're always going to exist as a dipole. But there are connections between electric charges and magnets. If we move a magnet, we can generate charge, and if we move a charge, we can generate a magnetic field. And so they're both essentially the same thing. And they operate along all scales, however they're going to dominate at the human scale. To show you how electromagnetism is really one force, we could look at charges. So if I run charges through this wire, in other words, if I run current through this wire, and I wrap it around a metal, which is not normally magnetic, it'll generate a magnetic field, and we've created something called an electromagnet. And so a moving charge can generate a magnetic field. We could take this electromagnet and then spin it in a large generator. So just by spinning a magnet as water moves through this dam, we're going to start to generate current. And so these are the same force. They're going to operate along all scales, and they're billions and billions of times stronger as far as a force goes than, than gravity. A way to look at how we could quantify those charges is Coulomb's law. And so if we have two positive charges, there's going to be repulsion. If we have opposite charges, there's going to be an attractive force. We can use Coulomb's constant to figure out how great that force is going to be. But remember, the bigger the charge, the greater that either attraction or repulsion is going to be. And the same applies towards a magnet. Now these electromagnetic forces, remember, operate along all scales, but they're going to dominate at the human scale. And so if we take this human right here, and let's put a, a helmet on him, strap it on, and then we're going to have an industrial magnet come down, we could attract that human and we could pull him up a little bit. Now where are the electromagnetic forces in this diagram? It's going to be in the cells of the human. It's holding all of us together. It's also holding this hat together, and it's holding this magnet together. And in fact, as we run electricity through it, it's generating magnetic force, which is holding this person off the ground. So it really is dominating at the human scale. Since this is an electromagnet, I could turn it off, and the person's going to fall down. Now, why don't they just fall down through the Earth? Because gravity is pulling them towards the Earth. It's because Electromagnetic forces right down here are way stronger than the forces of gravity. And so at the human scale, electromagnetism, these charges, are what dominate uh, our planet. So did you learn to connect the size of electromagnetism to the size of the charge or the size of the magnetic dipole and their movement? I hope so, and I hope this was helpful.